guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a bit of a DIY. I'm going to be doing crayon lipsticks. What the hell am I talking about? Crayons, non-toxic. Kids eat them, we can wear them. That's my motto, is it? I don't know, that sounds really creepy. I found this adorable little recipe, I actually stumbled upon it on Instagram and thought, wow, that would be so fun to try. So I'm gonna give this a go. You can basically make any color lipstick in the world and it's just by mixing and matching using some crayons. So, this is what you'll need to make crayon lipstick. Of course you're going to be needing crayons. You're gonna need coconut oil, virgin olive oil, some rose hip oil, a large mixing bowl, and a larger cooking pot. You'll need some sort of mixing utensil. I'm using chopsticks from a takeaway place. And finally, an empty container. I'm using some packaging from an acrylic nail set. Now, once you've gathered all these bits and pieces, you're gonna be selecting out your colors from the crayons. So I'm gonna be aiming for a bit of a mulberry color to start off with, picking out dark purple, raspberry, and nude. Next thing, you wanna take the paper very carefully off each crayon and then divide them up. To get a mulberry color, I'm going to use one six purple, three six raspberry, and two six nude. Next, to fill the large pot with enough water that the mixing bowl will float in it. And make sure you bring that to the simmer. Picking up your collection, we're going to add that into the bowl before adding it to the heat. And with that magical collection, we're going to add one teaspoon of olive oil, followed by one teaspoon of coconut oil. And then once that's in, we're going to add three to five drops of rosehip oil for added nourishment, lip conditioning and hydration. Add that to the water and give it a good stir. Dinner's ready, so now we're going to take some oven mitts. Oven mitts are essential! And we're going to pick up our mixing bowl and our concoction and take it over to our container. Very, very carefully and slowly pour that into one of your little receptacles. I mix the leftovers with orange and yellow to get this colour. Next, I started fresh and tried to go for an emerald green, so I did half green, quarter blue and quarter nude. For the next concoction, I wanted to make something that was similar to my hair colour, so on top of that current concoction, I added half lime, quarter blue and quarter purple. You'll notice this is a little bit more of a matte colour because of its high crayon content. For these next two colours, I added a little bit more virgin olive oil and they came out more like lip glosses. Hot tip! Add sparkles, shimmers, eyeshadows or craft glitter to make your own unique textures. For this next colour, I added equal amounts red and orange and it produced this gorgeous warm tangerine colour. To create this beautiful soft poppy pink, I added two thirds nude with one third red. Hot tip! Add sparkles or shimmer from the opposite end of the colour wheel to create a beautiful high contrast effect. Remember guys, adding more coconut and olive oil to your concoction will create more of a lip gloss, high shine kind of texture, where adding more crayons to the mix will give you a more longer wearing but mattifying and slightly drying texture to the lips. Have a play around and see which textures work for you. Easy, cost 
me probably about 20 bucks all up for materials. I find the texture is probably not super amazing for everyday wear. However, for evening wear looks, for drag queens, if you're trying to do your look on a budget and you can't find the colour you want, make it yourself. Goodbye.